Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Kim, and I'm a librarian at the Monroe County Public Library. And today, we are gonna talk about the science of slime. That's right, slime involves a specific kind of science called chemistry. And chemistry is the study of the matter in our world, right? In our world, we have solids, liquids, and gases, and those, mat those bits of matter are made up of atoms and molecules. And when those atoms and molecules come together, they form reactions. And chemists are very interested in that reaction. And today, we're gonna to be very interested in that reaction too, as we make our slime. So let me put this slime away, and we will start in on our project. Um, to make slime, the kind of slime that I make, you're gonna need some basic ingredients. You're gonna need some PVA glue, PVA that stands for polyvinyl acetate. Um, this is a very specific kind of glue that you're gonna want, and we'll talk about why that is in just a moment. Um, you're gonna need some regular baking soda, and then you're gonna need some contact solution. It could be any brand, as long as it has boric acid or sodium borate in the ingredients, okay? So those are the things you wanna look for, the boric acid or sodium borate. Um, and then, of course, if you want to add anything special to your slime, like food coloring or glitter or any other kind of optional thing, um, you're going to want to get that as well. So here's the basic instructions for slime. I've got my bowl, um, and it is ready for the first ingredient, which is this polyvinyl acetate glue, this PVA glue. And I'm using a white glue today. You can also use a clear glue. That's okay. And we're going to pour into our bowl three-fourth cups of this glue. I've already got one half a cup in my bowl, um, so I just need to add one more fourth cup, okay? So here I go. And I'm gonna pour this into my measuring cup. I'm pouring it over my bowl just in case there's an accident here. And you can see how smoothly this glue is rolling from the container, right? The glue rolled really, really smoothly, kind of like water, but a bit thicker, right? It just runs right down like a river. And the reason it does that is because the molecules that make up this glue run very similarly to something like water. Um, all the molecules that make up the glue, when you pour them up like this and they run down, run just like a river, right? They're all in this kind of straight line, kind of moving toward that goal. So here I am, I'm pouring it down. The line of molecules is running down just like this. All right, so that's our glue. That's our first ingredient. The second thing we're gonna wanna put in here is baking soda. Now, I accidentally broke my cool cardboard box. My baking soda comes in, so I've got it in this container, but this is just regular baking soda that you would use every day. Um, and you need for this one and a half teaspoons. I have a half teaspoon measure, so you're gonna see me do this three times. So you need one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So you get those in there, and you want to mix it in really well with this glue. I'll talk about why that is in just a moment. So we're mixing in the baking soda very, very thoroughly to our glue. And it's at this stage, right, you've got just glue and baking soda that you want to add whatever optional uh, mix-in you want. Um, usually people put in food coloring. Um, it's also really common to put in glitter. I'm going to do a little bit of both. And I'm going to put in, um, just put in three drops of this. Uh, you can kind of mess around with that and see how many drops you like uh, to kind of make the color that you like for your slime. And then I'm going to put some glitter in here. Um, and I will tell you that glitter actually shows up a lot better if you're using a clear glue than a white glue. Um, but I just have the white glue and I'm going to put some glitter in. Um, you'll see how it works. And here I'm just going to dump this whole container in. Because for slime, right, we're making a pretty big quantity of slime here. Um, you're going to need a lot of glitter to make it show up. So I've got that in here. I'm going to mix it up. Mix, 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 mix. It's got kind of this limeish color. I'm going to add a little bit more um, just to get a little darker green. So I'm mixing in right now just food coloring and glitter. Really, you could add practically anything to this. Um, you could add shaving cream. It'll make a really fluffy cl uh, cloud slime if you do that. It'll smell pretty nice too. Um, you could add um, glow-in-the-dark powder to make this a glow-in-the-dark slime or a thermochromatic powder to make it one that changes um, between hot and cold. 
You could add, um, one time I had a pumpkin guts last Halloween, I would carve out a jack-o'-lantern and took all those insides and dumped that into my slime to make a really creepy, gross Halloween slime. Um, really anything goes. I really encourage you to experiment with this and see what kind of fun, cool slimes you can come up with. Um, so really anything goes. Um, I've got that mixed in. This is really the stage, no matter what you're putting in, this is the stage to add it. So I've got my glue, baking soda, food coloring, and glitter, and I'm ready for the next component, which is the most important component. It's this contact solution with the boric acid. This is the most important component because that boric acid is gonna be what activates this slime or this glue mixture to make it into our slime. Um, and what happens is, uh, remember earlier I talked about that glue flowing and that those really beautiful molecule lines, you can kind of see it here. It's really beautiful straight lines of molecules flowing down. What's gonna happen when we add this boric acid is it's gonna to react to that baking soda that we've mixed into the glue and it's gonna do something called cross-linking. It's gonna take those long, straight uh, molecules and start branching them, kind of like a ladder um, that goes in lots of different directions. So it's gonna interrupt that really smooth flow that we had as the glue. Um, somebody I know compared this to thinking about straight spaghetti, like when you haven't cooked your spaghetti yet, it's all straight in rods, and then after you've cooked it, it gets all tangly and messy. It's kind of like that. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this boric acid into my mixture. And how much you add here, it's really gonna become up to you what kind of slime you wanna make. A lot of the recipes I see will list this as like one and a half teaspoons. Um, just kind of play that by ear. I'm gonna go ahead and put in one teaspoon to start. I've got my teaspoon measure. I'm gonna dump it in here and I'll show you what happens as you mix up. You're gonna notice it's, it's mixing up. You can kind of start seeing it getting really um, slimy. And what we want is to start seeing it pull away from the walls of the bowl. And mine's not really, oh, it's starting to pull away. Maybe this is good just with one teaspoon. We want it to start to pull away from the walls. That part is key. If you put in too much contact solution here, or a lot of contact solution here, you're gonna end up with a harder slime compared to if you put in just the right amount. Um, and that just right amount, again, really just depends on what kind of slime you wanna make. Um, something else I've read about you can do, um, and I've tried this, it does work. If you wanna create an overall stickier slime, at this stage, when you're mixing in your um, contact solution, you can add about a tablespoon of hot tap water and that'll make you have it in the end an overall stickier slime, which is pretty cool. Um, when it starts pulling away from the sides of the bowl, you can kind of start scooping it up in your hands. And I like to put it all in one hand at first. I put it all in my left hand. So try to get all the slime in my left hand. It's all there, it is super sticky. You can see it kind of rolling down. And then I take my right hand and I start kind of trying to pull it off my left hand. And I'm trying to get it out from between all my fingers and off my palm, all the way around. It is pretty sticky, I can say. Okay, when it's all in my right hand, I take my left hand and I do the same thing. I'm pulling all that slime away. And this is a process we call knead, kneading our slime. And so I'm kneading my slime. I'm gonna push it back and forth, and I'm rolling it up, grabbing it from one hand to the other. As you knead your slime, and then later as you play with your slime, you're gonna notice it gets a little bit harder, a little bit easier to deal with. Um, and if it's a stickier slime overall, it'll keep some of that stickiness. But if it's one that you've added a lot of contact solution to, you're gonna notice that it firms up really quickly. Um, and either way you do that is okay. Okay, so we've got our slime. It's pretty good. Um, it's really, really sticky, which is nice. So I've got my slime, and it is done at this stage. It is officially done. Um, but let's look at it. Let's think about it in terms of matter, right? We talked at the beginning about how there's three types of matter. There's gas, there's a liquid, and there's a solid. Um, and everything in the universe, everything in our world, right, is one of those three things. But what's going on here? This is really strange because it acts kind of like a liquid, right? kind of flows down really, really slowly, but it moves fluidly like a liquid. 
It also acts a lot like a solid, right? I can just pick this up and clump it in my hand. Um, so it's got properties of both the liquid and the solid. And this is what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid. It's really, really uh, an interesting part of science. And slime is one of the things we can say uh, is non-Newtonian. It's very cool. Okay, so what you can you do with your slime after this? Of course, you can play with this. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you have a stickier slime, um, there's a lot of this kind of pulling action you can do. If you have a harder slime, I wanted to show you uh, a little piece I made earlier. This purple slime, it is a much harder slime. You can roll it into a ball and bounce it. Have a stickier slime like that green slime I made or this blue slime I made earlier. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun to manipulate. You can also of course mix two different slime colors together. This uh, purple one that I just showed you is actually a mixture of this blue slime and this much harder pink slime. So a lot of fun, um, a lot of fun to be had. And if you want to mix your slime, a good way to do it is just to take two pieces like this and twirl them together like taffy. And if you play with this enough, they are going to combine and make one giant ball of purple slime. All right, so that's it. That is the science of slime and my very quick and easy uh, slime recipe. I hope that you have a chance to give this a try. And if you make some really cool slime or you have some really good ideas about other things you can add to your slime to make it even better, let us know in the comments. All right, thank you so much for joining us and have fun with your slime. Bye-bye.